despite all the cameras littering London streets, shops and transport facilities, the police are still hunting for Abdul Ezedi. Trigger warning, I'm Granny Opterix and I'm going to be getting satirical to a point that some might find uncomfortable. So, over a week later and the police still can't find him. Actually, I had it in mind that it wasn't entirely outside the limits of possibility that Azedi could be taking shelter with a fellow Muslim somewhere. And apparently a few hours ago the police raided a pizza takeaway, so it looks like they also think that the illegal migrant, sex assailant, chemical attacker and fake Christian convert might have called in some favours. I didn't want to say that at the time I made my first video about it because I, well, I didn't have any proof of any hint that was what he might be doing. However, seeing as the police are obviously of the same mind, I now feel, um, empowered, as they say, to mention it. Now, your first thought might be that any random Muslim would be happy to shelter Ezedi, and I want to point out that this might not necessarily be the case. We have to bear in mind that although Ezedi might indeed have thrown himself on the hospitality of a co-religionist, it's by no means certain that said co-religionist would want to look after him. It's entirely possible that he, or his family, would find it inconvenient to be looking after an attempted murderer suffering, and boy oh boy, I hope he really is suffering. Uh, suffering with what must by now be a gaping and separating untreated wound on his face. While the substance with which he planned to scar and blind a woman and two infants would be eating its way into his eye socket. I'll bet that smarts a bit. I'll bet he's doing quite a bit of groaning and crying. Whatever. I'll bet he'd be a lot of trouble for those forced to shelter him. Now, he might be so much trouble, it's entirely possible that they might wish to get rid of him, especially if, like him, they're not very nice people birds of a feather and all that. What are the sort of people with whom such a man would be taking shelter? So, I'm now venturing into the wildly speculative, you understand, but I'd be careful about eating anything from the local kebab shop for a while, and if you decide to risk it and your lips start to tingle a bit, I'd report that to the police. Till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opterix design or Granbo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.